Hey everybody, and welcome back to From Geisley to Greatness with me, GW365. If you joined us last time, if we have a look at this schedule, where are you? There. We beat, uh, uh, sorry, we lost, got, we got beat by Boston United. And again, we're going to be playing Boston United again. We lost 2 1. I started making a few uh, adjustments with, with uh, tactics. Let's go to the tactics screen. I created a 4 3 1 2. And this is sort of like a. A 4 4 5 1, it's sort of. And it's actually control. I need to change the name of it. So I feel that we just get. I don't know what it is. We're not taking control games. We're just giving the ball away all the time. And we just don't seem to be doing much with it. I don't know what it is. I mean, we've got. The, the basic setup is. You know, try and focus down one side. Um, now we, we've got, as you can see, we've got an inside forward here. So it's like it's like a deep, really deep line forward. We've got a deep line forward there, but we've also got another one here, an advanced playmaker, uh, box to box midfielder, and a register. How do you say this now? I can't remember. Register, register. They're pretty good. More aggressive version of deep line playmaker, which is pretty good. Which means like anyone who comes nearby. I'm just going to get tanked by Andy Holdsworth as it stands at the minute because I ain't got, really got anyone better. But I'm finding that they're getting in behind far too easily in our games. I mean, I'll, I'll go into his games now. This is a basic layout. These are the team instructions. Pass the space. We're going to try and focus on the left flank. That's going to be the main priority, I think, uh, for the decent... Well, there's going to be a main priority because he's going to be basically the, the, the guy who sprays it around here, there and everywhere. Uh, but the left flank is going to be one of the main features of the game. And uh, he's going to be looking for a cross, deep cross, for Brooksby to get on the end of. Unfortunately, Brooksby's heading stat is, is still one, uh, which could be a problem. So now I've had a good look at that. Let's have a look at the schedule. First, I played with the 4 3 1 2, which is for, for the defenders, three centre mids. I'll just quickly show you it. It's that. As you can see, that, that was a setup. Fairly similar. Worked well for the first game, although. Did it? That's the question. Because if I just go back into this one, uh, it's not altered it at all, is it? Nope, that's fine. Everything's still right. Um, if I go into the uh, schedule, uh, 3 0. We won 3 0. It looks like a quite a comprehensive win until you see that, that Alex Strutz has scored two penalties. Now we'll look at the goals. There's some shocking goals coming up as well. You will see shortly. So, Johnson, obviously the penalty. Boom. Let's see if you think these are penalties, actually. Now, here we go. This was the highlight. Holds up to the throw. McGowan just literally got thrown to the ground by Brazil. And then you've seen the goal already. Then we move on to the next one. Holds up for another throw. Threw it to Johnson. And they reckon it was a, it was a dive. Shirley took a dive there. Now, to me, that looks pretty conclusive that it was a penalty. Then, we we'll move forward. Holdsworth, yet another throw, come for another throw. Johnson crossed it in. Boys had to collect it. <laughs> Rode the challenge somehow and Darren Anderson there to head it into the net, aka Gavin Rothery in his face. So that was the first game. A couple of yellow cards, not really anything special to talk about. Then, we played Charlie, who are, who were fourth bottom and I cannot understand why the goalkeeper does this just I'm just gonna just sit back and watch just, just see just observe came from an attack from us bit of a uh, patient play then they're getting behind What's the keeper doing there? He comes out to it and just like just like, sidesteps to just keeps coming and doesn't even try and get it. Very weird. Terrible goal anyway. Then this came from our free kick. The next one. Bows uh, bo Bose boys. Nearly well, passed found Johnson, he nearly scored. He couldn't find uh, he was like Wayne Rooney there, just straight down the middle. Uh, I do have several rants about uh, Wayne Rooney, but that's another story. Why did he come for it? And then what is that save? What was that save? He's put his hand to the left as he's died, and it's gone into the back, into the middle of the net when it should have been going towards the corner flag. But basically that was terrible. And then, as you can see, hardly any highlights are on the second half. It's terrible. 
So yeah, that was a terrible result. So then I tinkered it with it again and using the current system you've just seen. I'm hoping this is going to make a difference. We won 4-1. And these are the goals. I'm pretty excited for this change. It seemed to work quite well. Only having one up front, mind. And you may notice that Alex Johnson got three goals in this game. Holdsworth squared it for Darren Anderson. Loves fired it. He had a shot, I think. And he looks like he was miles offside, but he mustn't have been. Because no one really complained. It's a bit of a kick clash as well, so it's hard to tell. Obviously, you look for the shots. It's pain when Leeds play Man City as well. And Leeds are at home. Found it and found Johnson. The second time of asking, Brain saved the first one, but Johnson powered it home again. And then just before half time, this happened. Pause of Fab Brooksby. Anderton, nice little pass, and Brooksby with a neat little finish. Darren Anderson there playing the uh, uh, attacking midfield role. And he's set to roam from position, so he's going to be pretty useful, I think in that role. Then they got to go back. What's the keeper doing again? Why isn't he using his hands? If he used his hands, that would probably not have been a goal. And Digging got it here. I'm pretty sure it's Digging who scores a goal, if I'm honest. Uh, it's not about Whitmore. Just highlight Digging. Bit of passing play. Long ball forward. Digging played in. And Heather. I oh, know it was cleared away. It's like the world's longest highlight. Okay, again, coming from our... Well, not attack, but he got cleared away. Long ball forward, and Killock here. Nice bit of play, but then look at this. Shocking defending from Killock. Get out, son. Just get out. Get out. It'd have been miles offside there, but it'd start of nowhere. And then, later on, holds up with another throw. Good header from Malton Johnson. Second time of asking, after a block, gets his hat-trick. 25th of goal of the season. He's the one main bright spark of this season the defence has been pretty poor but as you can see uh, I don't know if you can see uh, if that could go away I can just see there Killick has got 7.5 O'Connor 7.1 isn't bad stats Lynch got 7.3 somehow somehow don't know how but he did right so we get into this next game which is against Boston United which is the same team as what we played last time this team set up is pretty damn awesome if it stays fit. Well, Edgy has been injured. He's just making his way back. Uh, I've got the other players uh, just playing in reserves. Both as other striking options did get injured, which kind of influenced going to one up front because at the minute we've only got Adam Boys and Johnson. Uh, so, well, Edgy is still going to stay on the bench because it stay off the bench because I've got Danny Loka cover two locate two positions. Same with Jack Stockdale, he can cover a multitude a multitude of uh, positions, i.e. there, there, and one of these two. Uh, I've got two set of midfielders that uh, Jake Mock can kind of play where Darren Anderton plays. I might actually just set him here uh, to attack him mid as well as left midfield. I did have him as left midfield because we were shy of left midfielders, but with that attacking uh, midfielder left and right, uh, left midfield on its own is not going to be good enough. So I'm hoping this is going to work out. We're playing against top of the league. We could could knock their um, lead down. Let's have a look re really quickly. They are currently 15 points ahead of us. We could knock that down um, to 12 should we win. It's a proper six pointer. If we definitely lose it, if we lose this one, then we are definitely uh, not going up automatic. Simple as. Uh, we've got 11 games to go, 33 points to play for, um, and yeah, this has been a, you know, it's been a poor season, uh, but I'm hopeful, very hopeful. I'm not going to use any, uh, anything. We are massive underdogs, so it's 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 you don't know what you want to do. You want to say we we want to avenge what happened. But also, we are huge underdogs. I think because we're on a bit of form. Let's do that. You're looking nervous. Why is that, Darren Anderton? Let's play with no pressure. And then we'll just set the defenders up. And then that's more or less everyone green. I can't ask for anything more than that. So let's get into the game. Holdsworth now. He squares it to the lover. Now there's Killick. And that's a false highlight. Zap Mills, I believe that's is that Zap Mills that used to play for Rotherham back in the day. I'm not 100% on that. 
here's Darren Anderson with a free kick, swings it towards the back post, Love is there! And he scores his first ever goal on his weaker foot. What a finish, my good sir. Love, it's kind of uh, uncanny that like in Yorkshire it's, you're right, love. And that is A and love, all right, love. I might change his name to all right, or all right, love. But anyway, Boston United brought loads of fans with them. I don't know if you saw that. So it's 1 0 to the Geisley. And it's kind of, you know, even Stevens. Oh, Darren Anderton. His trademark injury coming at the complete wrong time means that Jake Maltz could have to come on. Uh, not in a in his favoured position. He's only like one star in that position. So it's, it's going to hinder us, definitely. And we soldier on. To be fair, Alex Johnson can play there. But it's I ideally we don't want him there. We want him in, in the most attacking role. Uh, we have played well. There's room for improvement. Always room for improvement. Definitely. No one can have the perfect game. Ever. Unless you're Mark Viduka against, Lee, uh, against Liverpool when they won 4-3 and he literally had four shots and four goals. But I'm pretty sure there'll have been a couple of silly fouls he gave away, which means it's not a perfect um, performance. So this is where we need to start looking now. It's coming to the 60th minute and we are needing to have a look at our tactics. We're going to need to make a change or three, or maybe not. Um, I'm going to leave Alex Johnson on. Freak it to Geisley. Watson's ended up getting a f giving away a foul. He's got a yellow card. I thought it was actually a major chance then, or a major um, highlight. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm struggling who to take off really. I mean, Ben Parker's not the fittest, obviously, but um, I'm thinking because Love's had such a good game. Saying that, no, he, he's doing all right. I'm just going to put Jack Stockdale on, and he's going to play there. And that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Mills with a long throw into the box. Pretty much like a cross. And there's a goal for out of nothing. And it's Garner who's got the goal. Scott Garner. 1-1. One, one. The inability to deal with this throw. And it was... Who missed the header? Brooksby, he's never going to win it. That's where he's, he's lacking. Is Brooksby. So here we go. Kick off straight away from the second, from the uh, conceding goal. And they're straight on the attack. Uh, Geisley. Brooksby is fouled by Steer. This is going to be a yellow card looking at this. And it's a decent, it must be a chance because it's, gonna, it's a highlight. Yellow card from Rene Steele. Steer even. Where did the L come from? Holdsworth going to take it. He floats it high and it's headed away by Steer. And now um, Boston United are on the attack on the counter. Row. Row, row your boat. Generally down the stream. Killick is there. And clears it long downfield. But straight to Dixon who plays in row. And row now lines up for the shots. Lynch gobbles it up nicely. And Parker's still looking tired, but playing quite well. Another change is going to be made. Um, hmm. Not a lot I can do, to be fair. All I can do is, is take uh, Ben Parker, who has been our best defender pretty much, and bring on Danny Lowe. Otherwise, I can put on... Um, you know what, Danny Lowe, how tall are you? We don't know. Head in, jumping's only nine. Now we'll we'll leave uh, Killick on. We'll take Ben Parker off. He's had a decent game. It's more fitness than all else. Parker now with the throw now. Finds Stockdale. Finds Boys. That's a penalty from Mills. Not entirely sure what happened because Boys just stood there, slid in. And it, it says that he took his legs away, but I don't know where they went because they're still there. And Alex Johnson now for his 26th goal of the season. No pressure, son, to put you 2-1 in front of the league leaders. Longest uh, weight in history. And he does. He puts it right in the top corner. No chance for the keeper, Dixon. 
J. Dixon. And guys, they actually move up to third with that as it stands. So yeah, the penalty was taken. Powered into the top left-hand corner. He seems to like that corner. You'd think that the keepers would get wise to it and just stand there, ready and waiting. It's ten minutes to go. Five minutes to go. It's headed... It's Words fail me as Mills is like has a free header and it goes loops over the keeper and goes in. Great ball in. I was just about to change it to counter as well. Keeper's had a mare again. He really is poor. So it's 2 2. Probably uh, on chances, it's probably a, f a fair assessment so far. But here come Boston on the attack again. Good tackle from Lowe, though. And he skips away and plays a long ball. Look at that for a ball for Brooksby. This should be a goal, and it is. What a finish. What a ball from Danny Lowe. Brooksby completely unmarked at the far post. Well, not even far post. He was still a thir good 30 yards out. Look at that. 25 yards out when he picked up the ball. 20 yards, maybe. Powers it into the top left and corner. What a finish. What a finish. What a ball from Danny... Uh, low, fantastic performance here, lads. Fantastic. Just for the last couple of minutes, just going to pause it here. Make sure we get this. I'm going to go into counter. Then we're going to go into team instructions. We're going to knock off, uh, push up higher. We need to make sure we're not going too far forward. Uh, be less expressive, and we're not going to work the ball into the, into box. And we're going to clear to the flanks. Where are you? Clear to the flanks. Okay, that will do. Come from changes, yes. And Glasgow to row. Don't know why it sounds like I know going Glasgow. Killock knocks it forward. Mills wins the header, and Hollingsworth loses. Well, win, wins it, but low with another lovely ball to Brooksby. What a finish! What a pass that is. Again, Danny Rowe, the most creative force known to man. All of a sudden. Fantastic couple of balls there. One resulting in a goal, one resulting in a clear cut opportunity. And that should be all she wrote. R low. I said row, didn't I? Low, as in when he made the long last pass. Low with a great performance since coming on here. 6.9. He shouldn't deserve more than that. Fabian Rowe destroys Malt from behind, which is a sentence you might feel uncomfortable hearing. But it's actually just a bad tackle. Holds up for the ball to Malt. It comes loose and it's cleared away by Garner. Newsham with a great touchdown with his chest. And he's running down his left-hand side, but that should be it. Oh, he's got the ball in. Lowe gets it, gets it away as well. What a performance he's, he's had since coming on. Fantastic result from Geisley. Is this the start of some sort of comeback? We've been written off today and we've absolutely destroyed them. Uh, albeit, well, we haven't destroyed it. Been a pretty even game, but all in all, you've got to be really pleased with that. That knocks the gap down to 12 and puts us in third place ahead of our rivals, Bradford Park Avenue, because they are local rivals. They have got a game in hand, however, so let's not count as chickens just yet. But we are now four points clear of sixth place, which would see us out of the uh, playoff places. So things are looking up. Things are indeed looking up. So. Looking at that then, so that's a good result, he's us in third. Look at his schedule now, let's see who we're going to play next. We haven't got that many games left to be honest with you. Oh, I said 11, didn't I? So we've got 10 games left. I think I'm going to go to the... Let's have a look. Who's the next big game? Further afield. You know what? I'm going to go... I don't really want to go that far, far, that far ahead. We have got some... You'd say easier games coming up. I mean, the teams that we've got to play are all like in the bottom half, barring the next game, which is Solihull Moors. Then we've got Bradford Park Avenue, a, an, an easiest game, and then finishing against Oxford City was second. That could be a key game. I think what we do is, I, I think I'm going to play uh, up until the Bradford Park Avenue game. I want to play... No, you know what? That's too far. We're going we're to play for the lower soft game. We played them early on in the season. And we... I think we won. Lower soft. 
Did we? Could have sworn we played them. Maybe not. Maybe I'm uh, incorrect with that. What about Stockport? Stockport? Have we still got Stockport to play? Have we played them twice? Looks like we've played them twice. We'll just go for the North Ferry Bridge one. That's a bit of a safe one. Uh, 13th. They're in 13th place. I think they beat us earlier on in the season. I almost certainly did. Oh no, we beat them 3-0. What am I talking about? Staley Bridge beat us. Colin Bay we drew with. Beat Brackley before. We've got them coming up. 5-0 we beat them. Hyde, I expect us to beat them again. I'll just say the uh, the lower stuff game. We'll do that one. I know I'm, I'm jibber-jabbering a bit here. But as always, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, want to press that like button. If you feel... Uh, if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, Darren Anderton on form for Geisley, apparently. Man of the match after getting injured, after 30 minutes or something, gets the man of the match for the 8.3 rating. Okay, alrighty then. Right, so yeah, as I was saying, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you uh, want to leave us any uh, constructive criticism or any feedback, any positive feedback, any players that you are liking or you think I should keep for the next season. Uh, Brooksby's doing okay, but his heading is still one. Uh, but yeah, just oh, one other thing as well is I did change the uh, the stats uh, for good stats ten and ten between ten and fourteen now is uh, good. Uh, Fifteen and above is excellent. So yeah, hopefully just for the next one. It's rambling. I'll see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>